when kids experience stress, uh, there is a, or when anyone experiences stress, there is a release of cortisol and adrenaline, which causes the blood to leave the brain and go to the muscles to engage yourself in fight or flight, right? Uh, it's a very reptilian brain response, okay? And we're, we have no control over it. Um, what immediately happens, so the blood sugar is also diverted from the brain, uh, your immunity is lowered, and it causes deteriorations of uh, portions of the brain, Gesundheit, which can lead to temporary or permanent memory, lo memory loss and possibly absenteeism if immunity is lowered. So bottom line, stress makes you stupid. Any kind of stressor, whether a kid feels not um, particularly liked in your class or thinks either by other students or by you or is stressed because they don't know the material and they're afraid you're going to call on them and they're so busy <laughs> being afraid that you're going to call on them that they can't focus on what they need to learn, okay? Any of those things is going to impede the maximal functioning of their brain. So how do we reduce stress in our classroom? You can have a kid who knew the answer the minute you call on that kid, it just flies out of their brain, okay? If they've got it written down, right? Less stress. Giving wait time, letting them come up with, Lydia even did it when I was uh, about to reveal the, the answers and she's like, Shh! okay, she was still coming up with the answers. So letting kids know that they're gonna be given time to come up with the answer. Um, I usually let you guys talk about something in small groups before I just call on people, right? So that everybody's had a chance to practice how they might answer or hear someone else answer it so that they have an answer in mind. Giving them choices. Let's say you've got 10 possible math problems. Pick five, whichever five you wanna do, pick five. 